Hello dear audience, welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites, locally, regionally and internationally. With today's news analysis, I am Miron Getatro. Stay with us. Give peace a chance. After two years of bloody conflict, the federal government of Ethiopia and the TPLF signed a peace agreement on 2 November 2022, reaching an agreement to silence the guns as a fair step in a long and arduous journey toward this lasting peace and reconciliation. Many across the nation have welcomed the news with caution optimism. But some, surprisingly, have taken to the streets to demanding the end to war even before the negotiation teams made it back to Ethiopia. Some media commentators like Alex Diwala and Martin Plout are writing pseudo-intellectual articles for being media outlets like the BBC in an effort to diminish the deal. Everyone has a role to play in guaranteeing the sustainability of this promising peace agreement. From the warning parties to the media to the common people, in today's news analysis, we will review the actions of all relevant parties and making sure this promising peace agreement holds to the betterment of Ethiopian people. Stay tuned. The learners share of the responsibility falls on the shoulders of the leaders of the warning parties. The peace agreement details the role and responsibility of each side, including the garnitures of the agreement. It's up to them to put the interest of Ethiopian people ahead of their personal wants and grievance. The signing of the agreement by itself shows prudence on the parties of the leaders and their actions so far have been promising. The coming days are expected to taste the will of both leadership to the limit. Making peace is much harder than making war. All peace-loving people and institutions and governments should assist in this noble effort. But there are always some cannot fathom compromises for sake of peace. And there are the war profiteers that cannot exist without conflict. These two groups of people and institutions may prove to be a challenge for peace. Immediately after the signing of the peace agreement, Protesters took the streets in Europe and Northern America, demanding an end to the war. This is highly perplexing to any observer and very difficult to understand its purpose. These protesters are demanding for a peace agreement that has already been achieved. Moreover, they are impending the peace process even before it started. On November 4th, protesters illegally closed northbound when five highway and settle in what can only be described as a protest against the peace deal. Frequent media contributors and so-called experts are also working hard to drill the peace process. The self-described journalist and activist Martin Plot has been tweeting increased insistently since November 2 about how the peace deal will fail. His colleague Alex Dewal wrote a lingus article for the BBC casting that implanting the seeds of mistrust just two days after the peace was signed. The former director of AFP, Rand Habib, posted on Twitter saying the cessation of hostilities was just a fraud on November 5. The Tugra media house have been posting misinformation and propaganda non-stop since the peace deal was signed. The Globe Society of Tigra scholars and professionals released a long-winded statement on why they will not be accepting the peace deal on the 5th of November. It is unclear why many journalists and activists on social media have chosen to play a detrimental role to the peace and security of the people of Tigra and Ethiopia. Instead of assisting the noble cause of peace, many are now working hard to destroy the fragile deal achieved through difficult compromises and negotiations. It is easy to fend the flames of war from the comfort of the Western countries. The instigator will not be the ones to pay the price of war. The Ethiopian people are begging these people to show more humanity and give peace a chance before criticizing every effort. This was our news analysis for today. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.